All right then, so Typhoon Rai is now a Category 4 Typhoon after some rapid deepening. It was actually a Category 1 like three hours ago. Now, it's a Category 4 after some rapid deepening. And, yeah, Category 5 is well in the realm of possibility. You can see here, very nice high formed um, that formed around... Three hours ago, that I and that was some signs of rapid intensification, and that intensification has happened. Um, Rai is actually expected to make landfall on the Philippines as a Category Four um, tonight. Actually, um, maybe even a Category Five could be expected out of this. Um, now I'm going to show you the model for the storm. So here is the model for Rai. Oh my god, how has this even happened? What? How has this even happened, bro? Look at this. It's actually expected now. This a few hours ago was solely focused on like a 100 mile an hour landfall. Now it's 160. Um, Yeah, that, that just gives it, look, 90 miles per hour. Then look, 130 miles per hour. Yes. But, um... Yeah, absolutely ridiculous stuff happening here. Um, actually, with this model, it's actually expected to make landfall as 160 miles per hour Category 5 Super Typhoon as an, an approach to Philippines. Um, and then it will once again go into the South China Sea and deepen again to a um, Category 3, most likely. This shouldn't have happened. All right, then. So here is the my radar. Um, radar imagery and you can see a very nice eye there in the uh, middle and yeah this went through some deepening like no other storm and is expected to make a catastrophic landfall on the philippines tonight is a category four three or five storm it could become a super typhoon this was not expected okay rapid deepening survived and this is the worst case scenario that could have happened for um, uh, Typhoon Rai here. Um, went through some insane deepening. Um, you can go and have a look at my last video. Um, not the one, um, the ESO model, the one where I shown you that Rai got an eye. Um, it went through some rapid deepening. Right when it got an eye, it was probably around 115 miles per hour. I wouldn't have been surprised. Um, but yeah, you can see the animation playing through here ridiculous intensification but that will have to do it for this video on rye rye is now one of the most dangerous storms of this western pacific season potentially one of the worst of the season as well but anyways that will have to do it and i'll see you in the next video goodbye